Well, I am already majorly behind schedule and this is the start of the week. It is Tuesday, by the way, Tuesday, June 4th. It is my brother's birthday today. I have realised that I never start a vlog on a Monday and I've also realised that a lot of booktubers do the exact same thing. So today I uploaded my vlog at 10am this morning. I had that edited last night and, you know, ready to go public this morning. And I rewatched it because, you know, it's that good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and that's like 30 minutes long, so I had to re-watch re that, make sure I didn't do anything wrong and made sure I was all perfect for the YouTube. Tuesday was a busy day today for the booktube and community because we also had Becca and the Books' May wrap-up, which was phenom, absolute phenom. Jade's reading vlog, which I got a little shout out. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, I sent Jade a couple of books last week to help motivate her to get to the editing because I really wanted those Ghibli-thon announcement videos and TBR videos. I just really want them so it was really selfish of me to send her these books to motivate her to do all of the editing but guess what? She, she'd already done the video anyway so and she just uploaded it last week so but yeah she Give me a little shout out in her vlog and I was so super happy to see her open the book. I, I absolutely love sending people books and seeing their reactions when they open them. It's just amazing. I want to keep doing that <laughs> and I know I shouldn't because again I've done it some more <laughs> since then. <laughs> oh, I can't stop. In the words of Miley Cyrus, I can't be tamed. I also watched Rachel's reading vlog as well. I will link all these down below, check them out. Rachel's vlog had me in stitches with her reddish brown <laughs> montage. It was so funny. Um, and Rachel's just a beautiful human being to begin with. In fact, all the people I've mentioned are beautiful human beings, so I love them. I love them so much. But anyway, yeah, sorry, it is Tuesday. It's the start of a new reading vlog. And, oh, I'm already behind. I'm already behind schedule. I was at work yesterday. Okay, so I was at work yesterday. And it's. It, I had a great day yesterday, actually. I did the booking in. Oh, I was saying that, though. We did have um, somebody on work experience, bless her. I could understand that she was very nervous and I was trying to be very friendly and, you know, asking her questions and making conversation. She gave me nothing. She gave me absolutely nothing. It was really awkward because she came down to help me with the delivery. And I was, I it was the quickest I ever did the delivery. I did 12 crates of books in 45 minutes. She managed to like, you know, put stuff here, there and everywhere. I didn't expect her to know everything, but it was so hard and so awkward when you're with somebody who doesn't even try to engage conversation and it's just the two of you in a stock room. So that was really awkward. But she seemed like a nice girl. She's in our shop all week, but I'm off until Friday. So that I, I'm glad about that because I can really catch up with my reading, especially with June being such a hectic month. I'm yeah, I'm already behind schedule. I've already said that, but I'm already behind schedule. So I started reading Heartstruck by Rebecca Sky on Sunday. I read a good like hundred pages. Yesterday I was at work, so I read I think about sixty no, not even sixty. I think it was about like forty pages, which isn't that good. And I am sorry for if my, my voice is a bit quiet right now. Um, my nephew is sleeping <laughs> and I've been helping up after him all day. So I cue, cue the montage, cue the montage. <laughs> beautiful. You're beautiful. Fetch. Oh. Fetch. Oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, but you're in jail. You're in jail. <laughs> you seen hello? Hello. Hello, Oliver. Yes. 
No. No. Uh, no. No. Uh. Uh. Hello. Oh. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. Where'd he go? He is like literally the cutest. He's called Oliver. 13, 14 months old and he's honestly like, oh, I love him so much. I love all my nieces and nephews, so I'm the best uncle, just just putting it out there. Anyway, uh, yeah, Heartstruck, I read, yeah, the 120 pages on Sunday, like 40 pages yesterday, but I managed to finish this today. I am so super happy because I've been waiting so long for this one and I gave it five stars. I loved it. It was so good especially the last like 100 pages like things just go off the wall sorry i feel like i'm spitting everywhere i've done it again <laughs> like my mouth is salivating just thinking about this book <laughs> i couldn't wait to dive back into this world because the first book ended like so greatly and i was so intrigued to see where it would go next this book yeah I honestly can't say anything about the plot until you've read the first book so go read the first book and then we can talk about this but it this one is so great it really I like the I can talk about character development that's absolutely fine character development is fantastic Rachel is our main protagonist she is a head nurse who is a descendant of Eros who is a Greek god and she doesn't want her ability where she can kiss a guy and they have to obey her she hates that ability she falls in love with a guy called Ben and obviously she can't really act on her feelings because of this um, but things happen and in this one like relationships are questioned and characters are so murky and you have to really understand and read between the lines to think like are they on the right side or not and it's just like like there were the first chapter ended on a twist like there was a main character death like 120 pages in there was like twists in the end but it all made sense like that's like a great thing about this book is that it made sense but it made me question like things that happened in the first book and like characters from the first book and ah, oh, it was one of those really great easy reads that you could just breeze through no problem and I would have finished this a lot sooner had I not been helping look after my nephew today but you know things happen and I'm just so super glad I managed to read this like it's so quickly as well so five stars um what else can I say about this and um, there is a character in here called Kyle he is the main character's cousin he's gay oh, and he's gorgeous he is bloody bloody gorgeous and I love him and he's so like he's a bit sassy as well but he's like he's such a man and I like a man <laughs> so oh, yes that there is that I really ship Rachel with Ben they are yeah like but during this book I was just up, up in arms like I can't explain it and Marissa one of the main characters from the first book as well you just don't know what's going on with her and she's just fantastic again and oh the, like in the main antagonists as well oh I love Hedda she is like she's the main antagonist but yeah if you love things to do with gods and you like it to be sort of like a young adult contemporary with this little magical ism then this is definitely the series for you and I loved it and I really need a third book in this series because it cannot end this way. It is, oh, it is so good. I feel like I've talked about this for so long so I will, I, I'll put this down now but please check it out, please buy it, please get the first book, Aroha, please buy this one when it comes out on July 11th and I'm the first person to review this book by the way on Goodreads so this makes it extra special. I am so happy, so happy. But anyway, I should have finished that yesterday. That is, that was my schedule for June, which I've got written here, which you probably can't say very well, but yeah, I was supposed to read it June 2nd and June 3rd and finished it on June 3rd. It's now June 4th. I was supposed to start my best friend's exorcism today, which I might actually still get to do because it's like 11 p.m. at night now. And um, my best friend's exorcism by Grady Hendrix, it is supposed to be read between June 4th and June so June 4th to June 6th. Right, I'm off for the next two days so I can start this tonight and I'll still kind of be on schedule and then I'll be able to finish it on Thursday. Yeah and then it, so I could still finish this on Thursday. If I finish this on Thursday then I am back on track 
if not i'm just a mug i'm an absolute mug so i cannot wait to read this one i don't really know that much about it i just know that cody according the books loves it i know all of quinn loves it and it is sort of like it is a horror like set in the 80s it has a stranger things feel with this like amazing cover but yeah it was described as if tina fey wrote the exorcist and that was all the information I need to pick this up. I'll probably be able to explain this better once I've read it. So I'm going to read this one. I'm going to let you know my thoughts on it, hopefully on Thursday when I finish it. Um, but tomorrow I will be just chilling all day. And it's going to be so nice. And... Ah, yeah. So I haven't quite broken down just yet, even though June is hectic. I haven't broken down just yet. But please wish me luck, because I am still quite scared <laughs> of this TBR. But I finished my first one. I finished my first one in June. And I am so fucking grateful. Mwah. Don't you forget about me. Don't, 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 don't you forget about me. Turn around every now and then. I get a little bit lonely, and you're never coming round. Turn around every now and then. I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my. Turn around every now and then. I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years are gone. Turn around, life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. I hear you call my name, and it feels like home. Oh. Just like a friend, uh -huh. your voice can take me there, uh -huh. Just like it means to me, uh -huh. you are the mystery, uh -huh. Just like a dream, uh -huh. you are not what you see Just like a friend of yours, your voice can take me there Just like a friend, I'll take you there Don't stop till you get enough, shum on Give me your back, don't stop till you get enough, shum on You know what that, don't stop till you get enough, shum on I think we're alone now doesn't seem to be anyone around I think we're alone now The beating of our hearts is the only sound Sorry about that, I just realised that all of the chapter names are titles of famous 80s songs So I was just, I was having the time of my life flicking through reading the chapter titles and singing my little heart out and I do apologize because I am a terrible singer <laughs> but you know I'm not on booktube to sing I'm on booktube to live so let me keep living and if you're lucky enough there might be some more singing in this vlog a few moments later I think I'm actually in love with this book already it is hilarious listen to this <laughs> No spoilers, this is just a funny moment. So Abby is the main character and her best friend Gretchen, they're 10, and they are at Abby's house and they've gone into her parents' bedroom and Abby reaches into the her dad's wardrobe and pulls out a... I'll read. <clears throat> Inside, behind his pants, there was a suitcase. Inside the suitcase was a black plastic bag Inside the black plastic bag was a big cardboard box containing a videotape. Abby switched on the flashlight and shone it on the v VHS box. Bad mama jamma, she said. My mum doesn't know he has it. Gretchen wiped her nose on her sleeve and took the box from Abby with both hands. On the front cover, an extremely large black woman was bent over, dressed in nothing but a string bikini, spreading her fanny wide open. <laughs> fanny! <laughs> She was looking back over her shoulder, wearing orange lipstick that matched her nail polish, smiling like she was thrilled. <laughs> Two little girls were looking up her but The caption under her, the photo read, Mama's got somewhere in the oven. <laughs> 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 
Mama's gonna sit her in the oven. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Bad mama Jim. I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna see if this actually exists. <laughs> I love this book. I love this book. Page 29. I've just done a Google Images search and I regret it already. I don't know if it actually exists, like the actual one that was mentioned in there. But if you find out, do let me know. I don't want to go deeper into this Google image search. So, no, no, don't do it all. Oscar. Oscar. You beautiful. You beautiful. I wasn't lying when I said I would do more videos on the floor. <laughs> it is Thursday morning now and I have been off work which is fantastic. Not really too much to update you on. I am still reading My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I'm on page 231 of this and I am really enjoying it so far. It has been fantastic. If you saw that little 80s karaoke singing montage and the quote that I found absolutely hilarious. I am sorry. Well this has turned out to be a really fantastic read and I am so glad I'm reading it. 100 pages left to go. I will finish this today and then I will be on track with my June schedule. Fantastic. I'm also thinking of filming a book haul today because lo and behold I have bought myself another present. I think this is like the 20th present I've bought myself since the last book haul which was only like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah I've gotten a lot so it might be a long book haul but I'm, I'm going to try and shorten it down and yeah it, that's the only like book related video that I can film at the minute so stay tuned for that. It should be coming soon and oh, unless it's already up by now then you're welcome. But yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I, I know what this is. I bought it for myself. <laughs> I buy everything for myself. Uh, you know what? I might open it now. I've not opened anything on this channel before. So let's just let's just open it. Oh my god, like what what is it? What is it? I feel smaller than I thought it would be. Oh no, it's not it's fine. Ooh. I love getting a little bookmark from Book Depository as well. I don't often use Book Depository because I usually get from work, but I couldn't get this book from work. But that is Dog Shows by Danielle J. Hen Hang on. Danielle L. Jensen. Oh my god, Danielle L. Jensen. Oh my god, it's hard. Okay, this is Dog Shows by Danielle L. Henson. Jensen! Oh my god, why can't I do it? This is Dog Shows by Danielle L. Jensen. That's the one. I saw this on Thoughts on Tomes' channel and it looked really good. She described it so much better than I ever will. Um, but it looks very swashbuckly and I'm dying to read something really good with pirates in it. I read these dog shows by Sarah Rash uh, in April and I wasn't that taken with it. I found it very forgettable, not very swashbuckly like I wanted it to be. But this, I just love the cover for this. It's just so Pirates of the Caribbean-ish and I love Pirates of the Caribbean. But hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. Uh, what is it about? I'll, I'll read a little bit. In a world divided by meddlesome gods and treacherous oceans, only the Marin possess the knowledge to cross the endless seas, but they have one mandate. East must never meet west. So there's a pirate with a will of iron, a soldier with a secret, and a dangerous quest. Interesting. I'll be able to I'll be able to tell you what it's about after I've read it. So let's uh let's see how, how this one goes. But yeah, we don't sell it more to stones. I don't even think it's out in the UK yet, so Yay, book depository. So yeah, I'll probably film my book haul today. It will be a little long, so I'm excited about that. And then, yeah, hopefully get some fresh content to you later. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my Best Friend's Exorcism first, I feel. Yeah, that's the safest option. Read, and then fun. Okay, so catch you later.
Do not be fooled by the pyjama top. This means nothing. I am not a Gryffindor. I am a Ravenclaw. Nothing against Gryffindors, but there aren't really that many Ravenclaw pyjama top sets. It's always Gryffindor. Go on a Primark, the first thing you'll see is fucking Gryffindor. Anyway, I think I last checked in a couple of days ago. I was in the middle of reading My Best Friend's Exorcism. Well, I can confirm that I finished it yesterday by Greedy Hendrix, by the way. I always forget to mention author names when I say a book. I'm sorry. I mean, sometimes I forget, sometimes I don't. But yeah, My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. This was a five star. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. It is about two best friends, Abby and Gretchen. And can I just say, I love both characters. I think they're so, their personalities are just so great and so different. And they just... They, I love their friendship. They've got such a phenomenal friendship. And, oh, God, this was, yeah, this was such a good read. This was so funny as well. Like, if you saw earlier in the vlog, me absolutely creased at page 29. I remember the page. I remember the page number. It was, it was so funny. And this, like, even throughout, a lot, a lot of it is creepy. But I think you'll find that you'll be able to get through it, even if you're a bit, you know, hesitant about horror or anything like that. I still feel like you would enjoy this one because it does have a great sense of humour. It is, oh, it was just so good. Um, saying that though, the the other friends, I think it's Margaret and Glee, they aren't very good characters. Like, I mean, good characters in a sense, but they're not good friends. And I, yeah, I don't know why they weren't there. Uh, yeah, they were, the other ones were very good friends. So I didn't really like many other characters apart from the main two, but... You don't, you don't need anybody else. Those two will do me just fine. And I got so teary-eyed by the end of this as well. It was so, oh, I'm not going to mention why, but, oh, it just got me right, right here. I could have gotten through this a lot quicker than I did, but, you know, life, life gets in the way. So, fortunately, because I finished it yesterday, I am on schedule for June. Saying that, though, I was supposed to start Storm of Swords today. But I still haven't finished Clash of Kings. So I ha I have Storm of Swords scheduled in today, tomorrow and Sunday. I am going to replace that with this so I can get it finished. And I am still on page 503. Same as I was before. I think it was last week when I mentioned this. And there are 873 pages. Uh, 503. So that will be 370 pages. I've got three days. Well tonight it's like nearly 11 o'clock at night so i want to read before i go to bed i probably won't get much read and then i have tomorrow and sunday the thing is though tomorrow i'm going to another double cinema trip with my friends i'm going to see aladdin again and then i'm going to see x-men dark phoenix i've heard mixed reviews about x-men dark phoenix as well i don't know what to expect but i love the x-men films and i'm excited to say this one so I'm going to go in with an open mind. I will let you guys know how I enjoy the movie. And of course, you already know I loved Aladdin. So I'm going to say it again. Today I was at work. It was a pretty good day. We're doing a sign-in with Simon James Green at the end of the month, 29th of June. If you are in the Northeast area and you want to go to an incredible signing. He does have a new book out, which is Alex in Wonderland. And it's a bit of a young adult contemporary with an Alice in Wonderland twist. It is an LGBTQIA plus book. And Alex finds a job at Wonderland, which is like a theme park. And yeah, it's it, it's a bit Alice in Wonderland-ish. But like without, I don't think it's like fantasy. I think it is genuinely like a contemporary romance. But it just has that kind of element to it. So I'm, I'm not too sure until I read this. But yeah, the author is coming into my shop on the 29th of June. So if you are in the Northeast area, do pop by. I would love to see you guys there. I am gonna be doing my first ever Young Adult Book Group afterwards as well. On the same day, we're gonna be talking about all things LGBTQIA plus related. And probably talk about this one, but I won't be able to get a chance to read it this month because I already have a crazy TBR. So <laughs> I'm going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> for the signing because, and if he decides to stick around for the Young Adult Book Group because I haven't read any of his books. <laughs> so will you guys let me know in the comments below what any of his books are about, please? <laughs> so I kind of, I kind of know. This is one of the books I bought today, by the way. 
So a spoiler alert. But next time I do a book haul, you'll already know about this one. I also got some Wonder Smith activities on a poster. So got a little, got a little word search going, didn't we? So I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, I don't know if you can, you know, you'll just, oh, hang on, you can't, you kind of can't see it. So yeah, as you can see, I filled it all in. In the shop, if a child fills in a word search, we give them a sweep. And I don't have any sweets to give myself, actually. But I also have a Wondersmith poster. I wonder where I'm going to put this. So Somewhere near my bookshelf, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And I do have some stickers as well. Stickers as well. Stickers as well. Ow. So if you're good, and if you come along to the Synodal Book Group, you can get a sticker. You'll be the member of the Wondrous Society. I had a lot of fun with this, not gonna lie. I love a good word search. But yeah, I think that's that's all the update I can give you. I will check in tomorrow, let you know my thoughts on these movies, see how far in I get with Clash of Kings. It's really dragging. I should have finished it by now, but I haven't. <laughs> it needs to be finished this week. I want to be done with it this week because then we have Ghibliathon starting on Monday and I am so excited for that. I don't know why I'm excited because I have six books to cram in in one week. It's going to be stressful, but I'm excited. I am going to go and read. Yeah. What do you think? This is my new Aladdin jumper that I bought yesterday when I was at the Disney shop and I went to the cinema to see those films. And I got myself a very cool Aladdin jumper. I am so happy. I am so, so happy with this. I love, 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 love this jumper so, so much. I shouldn't have bought it because it was quite expensive. It is a Disney shop after all, but that's what the overdraft's for. I also got this little magic lamp as well because, you know, I was, I was riding the Aladdin hype yesterday. I know I'd already seen the film, but seeing it for a second time just made me love it even more. But... Yep, it is Sunday night now, and I think it's like nine, nine o'clock. I have just finished A Clash of Kings. Ah, I am so relieved I finished this. It was taking ages to read. I, I, I started like May 28th. It's now June 9th, and it's just like, ugh. But yeah, this was such a chore to get through for me. Personally, I gave it three stars. I was going to give it four because I thought it picked up in the end. It got really good. But overall, I was just praying for this to end. Like most of it, I just wasn't in the right headspace for it, maybe. I just, I just wanted to move on to something else. And I did take a break halfway through this as well. I got like 500 pages in, read two other books this week, and then got back to this. I am so glad I finished it today, though, because tomorrow is the start of ghibli -thon, and I have no time for this. It was good. It was just like a lot of talking, not a lot of action until the whole like black water stuff. But then of course we'll have things in the middle of it with like certain people's deaths. And yeah, it just, it was a bit uneven for me. I kind of, season two for me is a bit forgettable. Not gonna lie, it's one of my least favorite seasons. My least favorite season is season eight, by the way. I just love my jumper so much. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Yeah, reverse. Sorry, I'm, I keep getting distracted. But yeah, three stars for this one, I'm afraid. Saying that though, it hasn't deterred me from reading the rest of the series. I'm still absolutely desperate to get caught up with the Song of Ice and Fire readathon. And I have Storm of Swords to read next, but I'm looking forward to that one because I really enjoyed season three of Game of Thrones. And I know that a lot of people do really enjoy Storm of Swords. So, you know, it's it's going to be a good one. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it still. So quick little read and wrap up of this week. I read and finished Heartstruck by Rebecca Sky, and I gave this one five stars. I read and finished My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix, gave this one five stars as well. And A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin, and I gave this one three stars. So I almost had a perfect five star week and I just didn't. I'm, I, I was probably a bit too harsh on A Clash of Kings, but at the same time, I loved the first book. I read it in four days. This one took like, nearly two weeks and it, that's just ridiculous for me. I hate reading a book for that long. I, it needed to be over with. But anyway, yeah, these three books, just so happy I got them done this week. Yay. So it's a great successful start of the week. I was so worried I'd be behind schedule. I kind of already am because I was supposed to start, yep, uh, Storm of Swords and have that finished by the 9th. Well, today I should have had that finished and I was supposed to finish this one on June 1st, but it didn't happen, did it? 
didn't happen. So now I've put Storm of Swords to the end of the month. Never mind. So I went to see Aladdin again yesterday, as you know, and X-Men Dark Phoenix. I quite enjoyed X-Men Dark Phoenix. It's gotten a lot of bad reviews, but I thought it was a pretty decent film. It was good. Some great set pieces, some, you know, heartbreaking moments. Overall, it was a good film. Not my favourite X-Men film, but it was still a, an enjoyable ride. And so my friend Mark ended up staying over at mine last night as well. He left early this morning so I could get a chance to finish reading A Clash of Kings today. So it's been, yeah, it's been still a really good day and a good chill Sunday. I'm back at work tomorrow and I am really looking forward to Ghibli-thon starting. So at midnight I may start reading House Moving Castle if I'm not tired enough. I didn't really get that much sleep the past couple of days. I'm looking forward to reading House Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones and just kicking off this Ghibli-thon in style. So excited, so excited. But yeah that's the end of the vlog and I hope you had a fantastic week. Let me know how your reading week went. I'm excited to start the Ghibli-thon next week. So the next vlog will be dedicated to Ghibli-thon and how I get on with that. So be sure to check in see how that occurs because I'm trying to fit six books in next week. That's gonna be hard. I'm not gonna lie that is gonna be hard. Let's see how that one goes and yeah that's pretty much all I've got for you. So thank you so much for watching my video and see you later. Bye!